Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. Coming at you guys with the full 2022 Mega Tin spoiler list. And looking from the front page and what you guys have been telling me on Twitter about this, it seems that Konami did not flop this, which is great because with Konami, you never know. You know, with the amount of pings I got today, I was like, all right, it's the ban list. Okay, let's go. Let's go get spoiled on one card, rinse and repeat. But no, today's some good news. Now, before we get into it, if you guys like these kinds of news videos, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. It's always appreciated if you're buying any cards off TCG Player. Please use my link down in the description below. Thank you to all my YouTube channel members. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Now, they have an order here, so we're going to start with Blazing Vortex, but I'm not going to spend too much time on Blazing Vortex because the set sucks. Secret World Crit, Kit, great. Prosperity is in here, cool. As a Seek, Prismatic Secret Rare, same with Underworld Goddess. I expected these two to be ultra rares, to be honest. That's really the only thing that, you know, changes everything else here nobody cares about. You know, we don't see a confirmed rarity for Sacred Tree. If it got, like, an ultra higher, that could be cute. Uh, little Latrida's a secret rare might be nice, but at this point, we're spending too much time on Blazing Vortex, to be perfectly honest. Greater Poly's cute, I guess. Now, we have Diviner as a secret rare, which we already knew. But it's great that we have this card because this card is just going to keep going up and up because of how good of a ritual card it just really is. So I'm also wondering if we ever get any more Necro support, uh, how good Diviner can be in that. Because uh, rituals can also play a uh, multitude of floodgates that are actually pretty insane. Uh, we got the Sage of the Secret Row, which is nice. The Rocks Rose is a cool upgrade over here. Uh, Frost is cool as a Secret Row as well. Uh, I really am happy that Trap Tricks Vesicles gets a Secret Rare, only because I think that card is going to look really cool in Secret Rare. Uh, and the Ultra is not worth anything at this point, so it's not like anyone lost their money or anything like that. You got Scrap Raptor, though, and this is what kind of upsets me as an Ultra. Meaning that, uh, because it's got a Super Rare in OTS 17, that Konami is going to disregard Super Rares. Uh, or they can disregard Super Rares that have come out literally two packs previously, because we don't even have... OTS 20 yet. We don't even have that all revealed. Uh, yet the a super, maybe this was 16. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I don't know why we're getting uh, an upgrade of this already this quick. But if you have super scrap rafters, you lost all, better just get rid of them. Uh, Dark Honest as an, uh, or Dishonest, I like to say, as an ultra cool. I don't know what this is to be perfectly, I've never seen this card in my life. Uh, Secret Rare Albion's gonna look really awesome because a lot of the rest of the deck is Secret Rare. A White Knight of Doc Mac is going to look really dope. I really want to make tokens of the Secret Rare here. Uh, it sucks she didn't get a Secret Rare treatment. She would have looked lovely. Uh, you know, you got the Dark Infant at Ignister as an Ultra Rare. Cool upgrade. Card was a dollar. If it didn't get reprinted here, it would be worth even more money. It's cool that they made this a Secret Rare, actually, because the Paleozoic people really like this. Ultra Rare Lina is nice. Uh, the Beta is cool. Uh, Zexo Collection is kind of cool because this was worth something like a dollar, which for a super rare that you never you've never seen in play is kind of shocking. Uh, then we have I believe what Donna Majesty here, uh, Secret Rare Looper, but we already knew Looper was probably gonna be in the Mega Tins. Uh, we get Rare Buggy, so getting Secret Rares for two dollars is actually kind of worth it now. Uh, if after this video you're looking to buy stuff that was either not in the tins or, uh, you know, didn't get really a hollow upgrade in the tins. That might not be too bad. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. That's no. Oh, suit ships get a secret. Rare. Hey, people really like this. I actually have a guy uh, at one of my locals that I like to visit who actually wears a uh, sushi chef uh, attire, and he plays the deck, and it's hilarious. Honestly, he's been doing it for a while. And he's having a lot of fun. Uh, secret of Cortis is kind of cool. Uh, nothing really else. Oh, Ultra of Fusion is nice. Uh, I don't know why people thought the common was a penny stock. I really don't want, know what to tell you. Then we have the brand opening as a secret. Nice. Uh, Ready Fusion as a secret. Mm, cool. Uh, Secret Overtake is nice. I actually plan on getting secrets because they're already cheap enough now, to be perfectly honest with you here, that I could selfishly spend the 4 or $5 to grab them if I chose to. Maybe they're sevens. But with this ultra printing, they're definitely going down in the nuts. So, Secret Rare looks way too awesome. Uh, we don't really have anything else. Uh, we got the Ecclesia. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, M-Pen. Okay. 
Uh, and then let's see what else we have here. Uh, Masquerade the Tax Dragon, as I like to call it. You know, I will always love you. You you made me so much damn money because I had so many of you at $1 to $2. And I got to sell you at anywhere from 15 to 25 up to 40s. Uh, because I didn't put you all in the one place, which was great. I, I'll always thank you, Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Especially because you also have a Darkness a Flare Metal-esque effect, and I love that card. Anyway. Brendan Rez Rare. Okay, so they remembered to give some of the cheaper cards comments and rares. Good job, Konami. The map is two bucks. Small worlds are going to be really, really nice to grab. Uh, what else do we have here? Ultra is an ultra rare. Look, I don't know why this is here. I have zero clue. Maybe they're trying to put a few cards that aren't Megaton esque and call it a day, but uh, ultra rares, not ice for that card. And then, let's see, oh, we have, uh, yep, basically the staples here, so we have Ultra Nib, cool, Ultra Dark Ruler, awesome, Ultra Dimension, awesome, see, this, I told people this card's not gonna get hit, uh, Secret Dragoon, we already knew that, Cross Out, already getting a reprint, right, not, it had not even a year till it was revealed, uh, for the reprint, uh, and then, let's see, you know, you got these. I heard these are going to be hard to grab from the OCG, but that I don't know if it's how it's going to be in the TCG. Getting these all as, I guess, a prismatic secret rare is going to be kind of cool. Droplets, the lightning storms, all that. It's it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool for sure. Uh, you know, I, It's not that I don't like the Dark Magician or the Blue Eyes or the Red Eyes. They just, the artwork doesn't really appeal to me. But yeah, that is it. I also got this info from, from Dual Daddy right over here on Twitter. Uh, this guy tends to reveal... Um, like Mega Pack stuff early and uh, some other info. I believe I actually did the 2021 Mega Tin Pack Tin uh, info with this guy as well. Uh, it's been a while, so I don't really remember. But well, thank you for the information, Dual Daddy. Uh, be sure to call him Daddy. Uh, Sak uh, Sakurazo, Big Daddy Sakurazo sent you. Let's just say that. Uh, in his comment section for me. Uh, because I actually do really appreciate when people give me info, but. Smash that like button, subscribe. Personally, these tins are exactly what I thought it was. It's really hard to act surprised when I'm not surprised by anything. Uh, besides the cross out, to be frankly honest, uh, I find that actually really funny. Uh, man, like this was probably one of the worst invest. I can say now, this was one of the worst long term investments that anyone could have ever done. And I'm so glad I did not sink money into this. With that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.